Support for Dipping Milk and Cookies comes from Endless Performance, located conveniently at 10923 West Mitchell Street in West Dallas. Endless Performance is Southeast Wisconsin's premier automotive performance shop. They carry hundreds of manufacturers and work with import and domestic vehicles alike. Right now, when our listeners use the code DMC, they will receive 10% off any labor services scheduled before January 11th of this year, which means, guys, you have literally a week. All right. Now, I want to be clear. You did hear it right. 10% off of any labor services. We all know labor costs are what usually cost more when doing repairs or upgrades. That's why this is such an insane deal that you should be taking advantage of right now. Again, you only have a week left. Again, when our listeners use the code DMC, they will receive 10% off any labor service scheduled before January 11th. Don't wait. Act now. Be sure to hit their website, which is myendlessperformance.com. Also, swing by their Facebook page to see more about the products and services that they offer. To schedule your appointment, please call 414-431-8383. Again, that phone number is 414-431-8383. Endless Performance, Southeast Wisconsin's premier automotive performance shop, making people's vehicle dreams a reality since 2011. to another episode of Dipping Milk and Cookies. I am Garrett. Across from me is Mike. How you doing there, friend? Good, good. You? Yep, yep. I'm recovering from the new year, but mm-hmm. now I'm finally back into the swing of things. Uh, the work schedule is finally going to start to get back to normal-ish. But uh, luckily I was able to pick up some hours because that new year shit really jacked yeah. up my work period. The two-day paycheck just does not work. Mm-mm. So I was glad I was able to work yesterday. Other than that, I'm good. Uh, how about yourself? Yeah, you know, man, I'm cool as a cucumber, mm-hmm. just uh, hanging out, doing things. Like how usual. was uh, how was your New Year's? Uh, it was fine. I uh, we I worked New Year's Eve and then uh, got done about ten o'clock. Went home and played Nintendo <laughs> and hung out with Jenny and the That's kids. That's right. You said uh, your switch. You got your switch working again, right? Yeah, I had to replace the battery. Yeah, uh, but you said the screen was still black. <laughs> But you can play it through the TV. Yeah, I can yeah, still yeah, play yeah. it when it's docked, which okay. is fine. So in the future, I'll probably just get a, a switch light so I can still take my games on the go or some shit. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I felt kind of cool. I love that kind of stuff, like the little tech stuff, like mm-hmm. trying to fix shit, gadgets, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Love yeah. it. Uh, so when I was like kind of looking around for the pricing uh, to see how much it cost to get that damn thing fixed, I was like, okay, well that's retarded. So I talked to my our buddy Garrett from. Uh, Toppers, Toppers White Garrett. White, White Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was he was talking to me about it too. He's just like, yeah, man, you could actually just get the shit and do it yourself. And uh, so Jenny's parents got me an Amazon gift card for Christmas, nice. and uh, I just went on Amazon. I ordered the battery and I ordered the toolkit, and I just did it myself. Nice. And uh, I definitely can, like I was so proud of myself because I love that shit. So Low like, tech it's, Iron it's, Man. Yeah. So it's I was like, like yeah. build, a, build an arc reactor. <laughs> From a Nintendo Try. Switch. <laughs> oh my god, it's working. It's working. I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, it definitely was like that. Powering it on and instantly it's just like, like yes. Yeah, fuck yeah, I'm the smartest man alive. Still no screen, but that's okay. <laughs> it's progress. Like I said last week, yep. it's progress. So if I really want, I can <clears throat> I can fix that too. It's a little bit more labor intensive, but I think I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. And if it breaks, it fucking breaks. Whatever. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. No. 
So yeah, essentially, you just <laughs> yeah kept it low key. Yeah, uh, I actually <laughs> Jenny came around the corner because I'm in the living room, and so she came from the hallway from the bedroom. She's like, "It's after midnight." I was like, "Happy New Year." She's <laughs> like, "Happy New Year," and then she walked back and went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, that's tight. All right. Not what I expected because I thought we were going to have some beers and yeah. I had gotten her wine and everything. But like when I got home, it was just like, let's just fucking sit around and not do right, anything. Right, right, Yeah. I know. I was right there. I was right there myself. Uh, Emily had to work till seven. Now, I was expecting to work on New Year's Eve, but then I didn't have to work. So then like I'm at home all day just being a fucking bum, which was nice. I needed it. But at the same time, it just totally drop my my motivation level to do mm-hmm. anything so like i drove her to work so i had to go pick her up you know i put on you know some clothes you know because it's new year's and i walk in and i have uh three makers old fashions but there's more to that story uh i had three old fashions waiting for marcus marcus was in town uh our good buddy marcus marciniak fucking great guy uh, he hits me up the night before new year's just like hey man you got any plans tomorrow and i'm like what the f- fuck you're in town like you didn't tell me before you could have given me some heads up man uh but yeah he's just like well my brother's having a party at his new house and i was just like that's straight that'd be if i'm gonna do anything on new year's that's what i'm gonna do right there but then i was just like where's his new house again and he's like mosquito and i'm like fuck <laughs> mosquito really Ugh. that's all right emily she's gonna have to work i know she's not gonna want to stay out and party all night so that's fine whatever we'll go out we'll say hi we'll have a couple beers we'll come home and we'll just we'll do it at home um, so like she gets off work I'm already one deep she orders a drink I have, I order the second one and I message Marcus just like so what's the address the motherfucker doesn't get back to me for like an hour and I'm like alright at this point I'm ready to go home like I came out I'm here to pick you up I waited now it's just like I'm good let's just go home I got booze at home I'll drink at home that's fine whatever uh, but she was I really want to go I really want to go I'm going to do something and it's just like okay alright and then literally she says that I get the message from Marcus with the address. I'm like, all right, well, here, let's go. But we have another one before we leave, so that's why I had the three. I hadn't really eaten that much. That's my, my, always, my biggest fuck up. Hadn't really eaten much. Had the three, and then we went to Mosquito, but I, we went and bought beer. I bought a six-pack of Foggy, uh, and she got some boy clothes, of course. Uh, we get out there. In a nutshell, I had four of those Foggies because I gave the other two to Mark, and then I had a, a spotted cow, and... After the ball, like, dropped and everything, like, we, were, we were burning trees. They went and collected, like, Christmas trees in the neighborhood. They had, like, 30 fucking Christmas trees to burn. And they're all, like, covered in snow, but they're still burning. You know, gasoline's a motherfucker. Uh, but they're burning so hot, so fast that, like, the water on the trees is, like, popping. So, like, the, the fire, the flame was, like, <laughs> it was so huge. It was so huge. I'll put up some pictures. I know I have some pictures of it on, uh, on my phone. I'll put it on a Facebook page. Uh, but, yeah, I was really fucking drunk. And I was just like, Emily's like, we got to go. We got to go. And I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> My boys are in town. We're going to go to the arcade tomorrow. I'm not going nowhere. You brought this on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what I said. Like, I almost, I like, I wanted to go home, but you wanted to do something. So here we are. Shoot <laughs> up. <laughs> right, right. You can sit there. You're going to like it. Uh, and she, but she was like, uh, no, the fuck I'm not. I'm <laughs> I'm like, I'm out. Uh, so she took off. She left. <laughs> and it's funny, too, because the next day she was just like, I want you to understand. I was really fucking frustrated. <laughs> like, I was really upset when I left. I was just like, wow. She said to the SpongeBob meme, like, <clears throat> that's what I would have done. <laughs> I should have. I should have. Shut up. No, I was like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just got to love you so much. <laughs> I didn't do that. I really didn't do that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, so that was my New Year's, but I got, I was so goddamn drunk, dude. I was, I was hungover for two days. Dude, was so was Tim and Cruz. Those fucking dudes were still hungover. Oh, God, man. It was bad. It was I'll bad. tell you just like I tell them. We don't bounce back like we used to. No, that's why I say what Joe Rogan says. Take your fucking vitamins, man. Take your vitamins. Yeah. Your body gives you that much more of an edge to, yeah. to bounce them back after a long yeah. night of boozing. Because, yeah, holy fuck. Dude, I was it's in crazy. bad shape. I was in bad shape. Yeah. Bad shape. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night at Matt's house thinking that I was going to throw up. It was that bad. But then, like, I just went and I took a dump. <laughs> I found some Ritz crackers in the kitchen. and just like, bah, 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 bah. started taking those down. And that was, like, the saving grace because I just woke up with, like, somebody, like, a little midget just, like, jumping on my fucking skull. Just like, oh, God. Like, you have a headache so bad where you just feel your head just, like, throbbing. Yeah, it was bad. But then we went to the door and we had breakfast. And then... We went, we all separated. We were apart from me like five hours. So we like 
we all like, took showers and took naps, and then we met at the arcade at like like four o'clock or something like that. It was fun. Which one? Round one, the only real arcade. That's the one I saw as Initial D. Yeah, but there's a new game. It's called Maximum Tune. Uh, it's a lot like Initial D, but the difference is like with Initial D, you remember those cards you would get mm-hmm. for saving your game. They don't do that at round one, but this other game, you can buy a card that'll save your your gaming data. So, so it's, it's like a Initial memory D memory card. It is. It is. It's actually pretty cool. It's a a, ban- a banana pass. I don't know, something, something Asian. <laughs> uh, but yeah, moving on. Being uh, being 2020 now, do you have any New Year's resolutions? I mean, I kind of outgrew that shit a while ago. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, like, make anything like, oh, this is what's going to happen. I didn't say I was going to go to the gym or any of that bullshit. But mm-hmm. I did tell myself that uh, this year I definitely do want to quit smoking at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah it's it just time. It's time for sure. Yeah, you know, 18 years been smoking. You know, that's long enough. Yeah, and especially now, like, I, that's my big thing. Like, I don't have a New Year's resolution per se. But it's just like overall, just be healthier. Like yeah. that's why I've been going to the gym more, and I am trying to slow down my cigarette intake, and I'm trying to watch what I eat. But god damn it, that's the hard thing. The, the whole diet thing is the fucking yeah. The bitch. So I'm not trying to say I'm gonna go on a diet, but uh, yeah, definitely make be some healthier, be better choices be about healthier. what I'm ingesting. Health yeah, conscious. Um, um, that's the that's the real thing. Yeah, do more stuff with the kids this year. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. We gotta go camping. Yeah, I and mean, Emily were just talking about it the other night. We want to go camping at least two or three times this year. Yeah, we're gonna go so, a lot because we just bought a tent last August for that yeah. uh, the draft party yep, thing. Yep, yep. It's a fucking eight person tent, two rooms. So perfect. We gotta get like one more air mattress and then be all set up. And those are cheap um, enough. You can yeah, for 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, but uh, yeah, just do more stuff with the kids. Uh, I've been looking at uh, getting some bucks tickets. Uh, you know, Brewers ten game pack, like things to to take them to do. Uh, we have our zoo pass, so we usually do go to the zoo pretty often. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just be more active mm-hmm. overall. Mm-hmm. Myself with my dogs, my kids. Mm-hmm. How's that little fucking shithead? Little, the dog, the dog, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the dog is, you know, it's a puppy, so like the frustration and stuff is there, obviously, just like with kids. You know, they can't talk, so it's like, I don't know sometimes what's wrong, but um, yeah, you know, still working on the potty training thing or getting the dog to go outside. Yeah. Uh, chews on all Jalen's toys and Lincoln's toys, obviously. Um, but otherwise, like, the dog is a good dog. She, you know, being a puppy, she likes to play with the cats. Mm-hmm. Uh, the cats fucking hate her. <laughs> Starler doesn't like her either. Just really? Because she's so rambunctious and wants to play and everything. Just like a ball of energy. Yeah, Starler's just like, dude, like, I don't think you understand how this thing works here. Like, <laughs> everybody in this house is chill, but you. Right. I can literally tell that's what he's telling the chill dog. Out, chill out, Spaz. But yeah, everybody else is uh, go with the dog and, yeah. That's good. Well, let's uh, let's move on to the real piece, the real topic of this podcast. Uh, today. He's nuts. <laughs> All right, see you next week. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We have our, our second guest, second ever guest, a uh, good friend of mine. You know him from Reflection of Flesh, uh, what Cynosis, um, Sludge, Sludgehead. Did I get that right, Sludgehead? That's correct. Um, Ashes of Remembrance. Mm-hmm. That that one I have never. I didn't hear about that one. So that's why I got a question mark behind that. But uh, it's our good buddy Phil Preut. Yes. How, How you doing? doing? I'm fantastic, man. How are you? Perfect. That's Early awesome. Morning podcast good. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Sunday morning. What is it? Ten, ten twenty. No, I'm taking beers. But yeah. You guys work that, yeah. No, no. And now it being January, I suppose I add that into into the New Year's resolution for January at least. I always dry out for January, so no alcohol this month. And I like last year did it for three weeks and then caved <laughs> but this Still year good. i really i really feel like i can actually do it this year so right but yeah um so yeah we're just gonna jump right into it phil obviously me and you we met through music we met Correct. through the band Correct. um how how did you get introduced into playing music let's go way back way, way back, back way back, back. uh probably picked up my first instrument actually playing you know, probably 1980 79 80 okay did all like uh, piano, cello, did the whole thing, saxophone. My mom drove me back and forth to to the, to, to, the, to get all the lessons. And so like uh, like a lot of classical classical, classical instruments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, just started out that way. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, drove my mom nuts. <laughs> <laughs> was it her, it was her idea or was it your idea? Uh, it was kind of I don't know. It was kind of my idea, I guess. Cause yeah. I saw I saw all these people playing, and I'm like, that's really cool to do. Yeah, that looks fun. That, that, that looks awesome like fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? So then you brought it to your mom, and she was well, reluctant, but obviously she she right. did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then immediately regretted her decision. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I drove her nuts. I spent all her money. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Like, yeah, I know. I know a lot of those classical instruments are they're way more expensive, way more expensive. I mean, pianos alone, like fuck, you yeah. put a down payment on a goddamn house with a, with a piano cost. Um, so you, you already answered my next question. I was going to ask if you've always played bass, but obviously you said piano, cello, cello, yeah, uh, saxophone. saxophone. Um, I always wanted to learn how to play saxophone. Did a lot of that stuff. Uh, you know, played a lot. So were you playing through school? Like, did yeah. you have like lessons yeah, and everything stuff, for school? Yeah, yeah. I did like private stuff and then uh, did uh, did all the stuff in school, mm -hmm. and then uh, did did basically everything. It's like a progression. Mm -hmm. How yeah. good did you get on each one of them? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, the instrument that I really miss the most is probably the cello. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. I yeah. totally thought you'd say piano. Yeah. I mean, or not piano, but uh, saxophone. Yeah. No. no. Sax is sexy, man. <laughs> That's a sexy answer. My sister played saxophone, and oh, she's really? she's super talented. She's really good at it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I've always that, was sax. The, that was the most challenging. The cello. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine so. Yeah. I would imagine so. Those those instruments with the with the the bows. The bows. That and that, and that I, you know, that's that's a whole different kind of technique. Yeah. Like I have a blunt instrument, like a, a guitar pick that's you know precise. Those things, like the fluctuation and pressure on the, the high side or the low side or the back side or the front side, like yeah. that shit just blows my fucking mind. Yeah. So yeah, I can oh, imagine that'd be a little bit more different. Yeah. That. I can imagine. Oh, yeah. I can yeah. only imagine time. for sure. So when I first started doing that. I must have threw that bowl across the room 50,000 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I trying to get it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and smashing my stuff and throwing the case and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finally, after a while, you mm -hmm. know, I came around. Yeah. You know, so. so when did uh, when did the bass come into the uh, equation? Um, that was, it was kind of a stand-up bass, so I played that after. The jazz yeah, bass. Yeah, the jazz boom, bass. Boom, boom, boom. So it was full size. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Holy so shit. That, that was fun. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm, when did, what, how old were you when you started playing bass? Oh, let me think. When I did that, that was probably early teens. Okay, so we'll call it 14, 15. How, so. how tall do you think you were then? Because you're a big fucking guy, so yeah, like, how uh, tall do you think you were then? Uh, the bass was bigger than me at that point. Okay, that's, yeah, that's what I was getting at. I was just like, I'm wondering if this guy is like eye level with this bass or if it's like towering over him and he's I had to reach reaching up. up. Yeah. Oh, instead of reaching down. Yeah. Reach well, up. that's probably why you grew this way. <laughs> 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 had to stretch your body's like, fuck right. this shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, so you started with the stand up bass. Yeah. What kind of music were you playing? Oh, it was all like. Classical stuff. Did all Still like a lot of classical. Regular run the mill stuff that you know that uh, that uh, early grade school, middle school stuff does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, just just progress from there. Well, then let me ask this: When was the revolution? Um, <laughs> when did you say enough of this classical shit? I want to listen to fucking Sabbath. <laughs> like I want to uh, listen to something heavy. I think um, I'm I'm a big Steely Dan fan. That's in here. I got it in here. I was fuck. You're beating me too. It felt like I was gonna ask you like a word association. I say Ricky, don't lose that number. You say Steely fucking Dan. <laughs> um, that was kind of like my wake up moment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, I got a chance to see all. You know, to, just a, a different style. Style and you know mm -hmm. the way that everything was laid out with you know the keyboards, guitar, you know, and everything. Yeah. Kinda like, but that was. That was the World Cup moment there. Okay. You know, okay. And, it was, and, and it felt like it was so good. It felt like I could relate to all that. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was good stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, so, so when you were starting that, were you playing, were you still playing the stand-up bass? <laughs> like, uh, you were getting into that, or did you move to, like, a, an it, actual bass it guitar? Actually, well, you know, I, I started out on guitar, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's kind of like I dabbled, mm -hmm. you know, but as soon as that came around... That was kind of the centerpiece. Because, yeah, you, you played guitar. You played guitar for Sledgehammer. Or yeah. Sledgehead. Sledgehead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> take us to Sledgehead. Circa what year? 90. I'm going to have to say 97. 97? 96, 97. I was 10 years old. <laughs> we were 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Where were you at 96, Mike? <laughs> Fucking school. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, those were good days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were. Uh, it was a very good band. What was it very like technically categorized? Uh, I would have to say probably metal, but uh, it kind of like a, it had some rock influence to it. A yeah. bit of metal. Okay. You know. Okay. It wasn't too heavy. Okay. You know. You so at ninety six, I mean, this is ninety seven. Um, how old were you at this time going? Because I mean, these are probably like high school buds. Yeah, you know, uh, that was probably 
shit. I can't even remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. Um, well, I mean, what really got you into metal? Because, like, obviously, you, you know, you started classical, yeah. and then you go to you go to something more, um, I mean, a little bit more splashy in the Steely Dan, and then, uh, and then, yeah, Sludgehead comes about later on down the road, yeah, yeah. and then, obviously, Cyanosis, being Cyanosis, that's obviously metal. Yeah. Uh, how did you really fall into that, into the scene? Uh, I, would, I would have to say probably, boy, late 80s, 90s. You know, did my first, you know, big like metal fest and stuff like that down mm -hmm. by the Eagles Ballroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're playing, you're playing, or no, actually, you're just going? Young, okay, young, okay. Young. Who'd you see? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just jumping all over the place. Oh, Who'd you see? Um, boy, I think that was King Diamond. Um, just a lot of stuff like that's that. fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. And then yeah. being like a teenager, teenager oh, you, you just that's just fucking it. sick. And that's what I'm saying, man. I was born in the wrong fucking. Wrong era, dude. Yeah. There's so many cool bands I wish I could have saw, like, in their prime. Because I'm sure, like, there's still a lot of them that are still around, but yeah. to see them in their fucking heyday, and they're just troublemakers, like, holy shit. Well, basically, well, if, back in the day, if you really want to know, um, did this club that was on 70th and Greenfield. It was called Club Jabberwocky. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they ripped that down years ago. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we used to try to sneak in there to go see all, like, the metal bands mm -hmm. coming up. Mm -hmm. I think there was like uh, Raven Bitch and Realm and all them, you know. I've like heard of Realm, yeah. Movie Star mm -hmm. and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to try to get in there. You get thrown out so much. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Immediately you know? First off, you're two feet shorter than everybody in this room. And second off, this is the third time this week. Beat it. Get the fuck right. out of here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, uh, man. But uh, the, that was kind of like the big thing, mm -hmm. you know. So I got a chance to see all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. It was good times, man. Yeah, I bet. Very, I bet. very good times. And that's Fucking, how we kind of got... Goddamn blur. You know, that's how... I, I don't know. It kind of all progressed from there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Well, yeah, I mean, some like with metal, in my personal opinion, so. uh, with metal as just a genre, because, I mean, there's so many subsections of, of metal nowadays, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But, um, but as just broad strokes, you're either a fan or you're not. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. It's that yeah, simple. There's no middle ground. Nope, there's no gray area. Yeah. It's black or white. You're either in or you're out. Yeah. It's that simple. And there's nothing wrong with it. If it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. But like, yeah. it, there's something about the genre that like once if you are for it, that moment where it finally clicks and you're like, okay, okay, it makes sense now. Yeah, I get that's, it. That's I get what it was it. like for me because like at first I didn't really care for it. Mm -hmm. like, I, mm -hmm. I listened to rock, but I didn't really get into metal. Mm -hmm. And then it was when you and I started hanging out again that when we got to be 21 and yeah. you know you showed yeah. me Lamb of God and yeah. I mean I'd listened to Slipknot before too yeah. but like I really didn't get into it and then that's when I got into Lamb of God I kind of started expanding and and like now yeah don't get me wrong there's some metal that comes on and I'm just like oh my gosh it's so I hate this yeah, yeah. why do I yeah, like this yeah, but then yeah, yeah. I find some other stuff and it's just like yeah it's the heaviest fucking yeah. thing ever I like it <laughs> yep yep cool. hell yeah it's so, cool. hell well, yeah. you know it's, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of like the whole thing, you know, when I met my wife, too, my very first date with her, we went to, uh, went to, uh, go see Nuclear Assault. <laughs> yeah. Nuclear Assault at the rave. That's awesome. He was ballroom. That's yeah. fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to bring in the mood, like, <laughs> and, uh, and that was, I think that was 86. 87. Awesome. Awesome. That was I just being born. Right. No, but, uh, just being but popped up. It, it, it was, uh, it was very good. Yeah. And my wife is like, well. She's like, this is what you do. Like, you have worship sequels. That's awesome. I'm in. <laughs> that, and you know what's so fucking cool is you're still with this woman. God bless Tina. She, yeah. Your wife is so fucking great. Yeah. Uh, that's so, that's phenomenal. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> like, so this is what you do? It's yeah, the idea. Yeah, it's the idea, idea. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so it was cool, you know, I'm going to chase, chase my wife around. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah well, that's fun. <laughs> um, so, I... I we have another 15 minutes before uh, before Mike here has to head out to go to work. Uh, we're just going to skip this part right here. I really want to get to, and I even threw it in here, the fucking llama story. Uh, That's epic shit. Here, please, man. please. <laughs> All right, let me, let me preface this story. I only caught a fleeting glimpse of it at practice one night, uh, and it sounds engaging, to say the <laughs> least. Um so let's let's set it up. Let's paint the picture here, Phil. Uh, where? No, 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 no. <laughs> All the dates and names have been changed. <laughs> uh, we can.
can neither confirm nor deny any said allegation <laughs> going from this point on. Um, well, uh, let's, I would assume this is in the Midwest somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Um, what band, what band were you rolling with when this happened? Uh, what band was I rolling with? This was like early Cyanosis days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is like early nineties. Yeah. Okay. Early nineties. Okay. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> how, first off, were you guys gigging? Were you gigging in the town where this, uh, alleged uh, llama was? I, I think I was on break. Okay. And, uh, and, and we were doing stuff and everything else. And uh -huh. you know, everybody kind of separates. Mm -hmm. Well, I had this whole clan of people that I don't see anymore. Yeah. I think half of them are dead now. Okay. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, we did some pretty crazy stuff back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> now that just blindsides me because I totally thought that this happened like after a show or something. Oh, this no. is just Phil in the natural. <laughs> like, just like, I'm on break right now. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. you're on break, having a good break, evidently. It was a three-day break. It was a three-day break. You had a weekend, essentially. Okay. Uh, three-day weekend. Um, I mean, obviously, nobody in their right mind is going to say, were, let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Nobody, nobody there was sober. Um, yeah. How, like, it was, like, a group of people? Like, oh, you guys, okay, yeah, so yeah, you just had, like, probably, a party or something? 20, 30 people. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it wasn't, So like, small like, army. Yeah, I was going to say, right? a small battalion, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask, whose who's fucking genius idea was it? I don't know. Please, please say it, please say it, please say it. I don't think it was me. Damn. I'm like, I, I guess... It would be probably the instigator if somebody says something and they kind of sit on it for a while. I'd be like, "Yeah, hey, let's go do that." Oh, and you're the guy that's just like, "Oh, I got more fuel, so like, if anybody wants to pipe up, <laughs> like, I got." I have something. Yeah, exactly. We can make this flame bigger. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. If anybody's down, if anybody's yeah. got a match. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so somebody somebody brought it up, and then and then you were like, like, "That's well, a fucking great idea." That's right. And, uh, <laughs> and everybody's like, "Well, we know where this place and people are, where they have these." animals that were outside in this pen area okay so it wasn't like a zoo it was it is, like a it was like a farm, a, a farm. Oh, okay 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 farm, okay, farm, okay. Yeah. and uh and they decided to go out there and you know you know the first initial point of it was to go out there just to fucking get you know have a good time mm -hmm. and throw shit at the animals <laughs> and, you know, somebody there is let's fucking take one well that's what happened oh my god you oh know, man said, allegedly yeah. allegedly <laughs> allegedly and, uh, and it got to be like you ever go to a party and it's cool and then all of a sudden it gets out of hand and you're like well that escalated quickly it escalated really quickly <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, all of a, and all of a sudden Happens we have this time. animal with us mm -hmm. and it's in the back of a pickup truck tied to the back <laughs> and it's like five six feet you know? oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. Fucking, they're, they're big man they're, they're big man <laughs> and the key is and i didn't i didn't know about this until later on that night they spit oh yeah they will spit right in your fucking face yeah, right in your fucking face <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah that comes with like some fucking heat dude yeah. that's coming out hot yeah, yeah. yeah so anyway you know we're out and about and we're hammered while we're doing this is like two or three days in this is like <laughs> you're on the bender yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah, a bender it's a yeah. fucking bender and uh you know partying and stuff and uh we decided to decide to bring it back with us to the place that we were the place that we were partying we were down in, on the north side of town i mean deep in the, i mean deep deep i hung around some shady people you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> shady people with guns yeah you know yeah, 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 fuck yeah yeah you know what i mean so yeah. it's kind of like you know, they could have took this animal out at any time. So yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, let's take it back to the party, man. That's exactly how it You're going to fucking leave Jim Bob just on the side of the road? Come on, man. You know, <laughs> and uh, it got to be where everybody's kind of like, you know, we're doing our thing and everything else. Move, you know, it's like, you know, we drug the animal back, threw it in the house. You know, we tie it to the, we tie it to the. Uh, threw it in the house. In the, well, well, it's not really a house. It's like a, a it, it was like a, a drug den. Okay. One of those. A trap house. It's a trap house. It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the guys tie it to the, <laughs> tie it to the sink lid, the sink, the uh, sink stuff. And uh, <coughs> around and everybody's partying, the music's going on, everybody's having a good time, and everybody see this animal in there, right? So the animal's kind of chilling out, you know, people are feeding it. And God, just imagine what he's feeling like. Right, what right. The fuck is and after a while, though, after a while, though, the music got louder, people started coming more, started to get... And it started getting anxious. It started getting anxious, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And everybody's like, somebody needs to get rid of that animal up in front there. I got it. <laughs> well, no, because now it's going <laughs> to and, it's, and it's trying to get out of where it's going. Yeah, right? yeah, where it's, it's at. Yeah, I want to be outside. I'm supposed to be outside, motherfuckers. 
not supposed to be surrounded by a bunch of fucking drunk assholes. Yeah, so everybody got guns. And it's and deeper now. It's deep, deeper deep, in the deep, night, so it's even fucking night. heavier. And they're telling me, they're like, you brought it in here. I'm like, dude, we all brought it in here. <laughs> <laughs> you brought the fucking <laughs> gas, man. <laughs> I don't want the flame to be that big. <laughs> so everybody's partying, and it's getting late, right? And uh, it gets loose. It gets loose. It gets in fired. the house. In the house. <laughs> so we're trying to run around, and people oh, are getting, no. all, getting all crazy. Oh no! Oh yeah! And oh, as man. you can see, it gets escalated from there, right? So, in other words, uh, PETA, we apologized for the death of this <laughs> alleged fucking llama, because I'm, I'm sure it only took a matter of minutes before somebody was like, all right, enough of this. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that up. Yeah, this ain't my fucking house. Um, but so they tried to let the doors open, and then it eventually... Oh, it did get it out. It did get oh, out, okay. really? No shit. Oh, well, yeah. God bless. Yeah. I retract my previous statement, uh, PETA. Yeah, <laughs> I, thought, I definitely thought it became a, it became a bullet hole. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was a fucking body bag for sure. <laughs> It was kind of like a Ghostbusters moment, you know, where that uh, guy's like, well, who brought the dog? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I, I said no dogs at the party. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, just, it, it, was, it, was, it was such a good time. It was such a good time. That's the night where, where, uh, where, where I was in my car. I passed out with the keys in the, in the ignition. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus. Like, the, with the car running? No. no oh, but no, just I, could, I couldn't get it in the ignition. I had it, the key backwards. So he just shoved, shoved it, it in there and just left it. Left it. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't this fucking work? <clears throat> you, you know what I mean? So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. those were those were very good times. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's yeah. fucking allegedly. allegedly. Uh, <laughs> that's that's fucking rock and roll if I've ever heard it. Well, I, I mean, I mean, it's just you know, it's just good times, man. Yeah, fuck yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. We've got stories like that too. I mean, I've never stolen a llama, yeah. but like that's. I mean, could you imagine too? Like the people that own the llama are probably just like one, two, three. Four, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh. it was it was four yesterday five. I had seven. Now I only have six. It was weird too because you know the most outrageous thing. You know we got this thing tied to the back of the <laughs> truck, and we're not out in the country, right? It's in the middle of Milwaukee. Oh, so that's where we were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get an email like a week, just like, hey, what the hell is that guy's name? That was my grandpa's fucking. That was yep. my grandpa's llama. Yep. Oh man, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like uh, you know trying to do that and everything else, but it was such a good time. You know, Hell yeah! Very, very, very. Dude, very, fuck yeah! It makes for fucking time. great stories later. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. adds to the legend. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Well, you, know, you know, and it, it, it was so, it was such a great time. It was, it was almost like you take a look back at that, and you're like, wow, man, really crazy shit back then. And now I'm looking back and saying to myself, God, I'm doing crazy shit now. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It doesn't. Stop. It doesn't stop. If you're doing it right, it doesn't stop. It just, you know, it escalates, or that escalates, but it progresses, it gets better, and the stuff you do becomes more and more fun, and less, and less suspect. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, correct, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, that's, that's fucking, that's phenomenal. Oh, yeah. That is, uh, yeah. that is There's a, a lot too. more to that. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure, and, you know, obviously, this podcast is going to be around for a while, so we'll yeah. definitely have you back soon. Yeah. Um. Uh, but on that note, we should probably wrap this up because I know Mike here has to has to hit the old dust trail. It's been great being out, though. Yeah, no, thanks for coming out. Thanks yes, for doing thank it. You. Again, we'll definitely have you on again soon. Um, I just have one question, though. Sure. What was your strategy going into the Rock, Paper, Scissors contest against Chris to, to win the seat? <laughs> we were drinking. Oh, got him. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. were drinking, and, and Garrett's like, all right, who wants to be on the podcast? <laughs> you two, you ready? Rock, Paper, Scissors. I'm like, I've got a beer in my hand. I'm like, all right. I'm like... Trying to do it, and I won them all. Yeah, yep. Poor Chris. Just yeah. Like, didn't even give him a chance. Yeah. <laughs> it was like right there. <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, we'll probably have Chris on next. Well, no, you have to have him and Dusty do the fucking rock, paper, scissors. That's only fair. Yeah, true, true enough. All right. Because That's if you have Chris enough. on, automatically Chris, uh, Dusty's going to be like, what the fuck? You didn't even give me a chance. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's actually a good point. All right. We'll do that on Tuesday. Um, uh, so, yeah, facebook.com slash dipping milk and cookies. Uh, find us on Spotify, find us on Podbean, um, make sure you go like, share, rate, review, uh, if you have any content, comments, concerns, yes, fuck's sake, I know, like, seriously, I really, I've checked the email every week after we've released, and nobody has sent anything, and it's so fucking ridiculous, yeah, I'm so tempted just to make a fake fucking email, just to send something to ourselves, (laughs) 
Yeah. This yeah. one is from Not Mike. <laughs> three, two, one. Well, let's see what this video is about. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, fuckers, send us some shit. Send us some feedback. It was uh, it was coming in pretty good at the beginning when we first started. Now it's uh, tapered off. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we're still retaining a lot of our listeners. So I am I am, I am fortunate and very humble, humbled that you know people are still listening. Mm-hmm. Very, very mm-hmm. listening. But uh, it's gonna get better pretty soon. We're gonna have video. Uh, I would imagine maybe a month, maybe two. Uh, but yeah, the video will be coming uh, soon. So, on that note, until next time, Phil, thank you again mm-hmm. for coming yes, out, buddy. The mic. Go for it, Yep, yep, yep. I understand. I love you, buddy. Love you, too, dude. Later, guys. Thanks for listening. Dang.